coming at you in the PTR preview with the Altars of Rights. Let's take a look at this and see what uh, kind of powers it's going to give us for uh, Season 28. Actually, a lot of these are, are really nice. There's a few powers I really like on this, especially to deal with the Primals. But your character is going to be crazy strong, and it's going to be a lot of fun for uh, Season 28. Let's read some of this. Upon arrival at the Altar of Rites, players will see 26 icons called Seals and three legendary potion powers. Once you get these potion powers, they last all season, all through season 28. Let's take a look at the potion powers here. It'll be at the bottom of uh, the altar. The double A, A and B, A and C, A and D, which I really do like. There's a few of them with your pets that are really neat. When a primal item drops, a second random primal, primal item drops as well. This is really going to help with all the material, the ashes that you need to uh, finish this uh, altar. A and C, when you drink your health potion, gain a random shine or, or a pylon effect. And then you got A and B, when you drink your health potion, all enemies within 25 yards deal 25% less damage. It's going to be a, a, a crazy season. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then you got the double A. When you drink your health potion, you'll manifest one of the three circles on the ground that grant increased damage, increased cooldown reduction, or increased resource or cost reduction. This is actually going to be pretty neat. And then you got the pets for X. I like this one also. I hope they keep some of these uh, in the game. But uh, better late than never. With C, with uh, Diablo 4, everybody's going to be playing that. But I definitely will uh, continue to play uh, Diablo 3 and uh, finish Season 28. But for X, pets pick up and salvage common magic and rare items. So you won't have to pick them up no more in, in Season 28. And you uh, get all your material, which is really nice. I do like that. They have so, so much. The pets, uh, I mean, uh, it's going to be crazy. And the pets pick up DBs for you. This is a nice one. Like I said, your uh, character is going to be crazy strong once you uh, finish this altar and get it all done. Double the amount of bounty caches that drop from completing bounties. All kinds of damage. Increased damage against elites by 20. Pools of reflection last the entire season and are not removed by death. So you'll constantly gain experience as you're playing. Which is really nice. But once you get A done, you can go either way. It's up to you what kind of character you have demon hunter monk or whatever it'll let you know what material you need and once you get that a started it's on you're on your way items have no level requirement for C so as you're leveling up and if you do get these done you find a nice weapon it doesn't matter you'll be able to use it plus 200 percent damage Plus 25 missile damage reduction, plus 25 movement speed uncapped, increased damage against elites by 15, increased damage against elites by 20, critical hits, grant resources, mana, hatred, wrath, arcane power, fury, spirit, reduce the damage taken from elites by 25. Gain immunity to crowd controlling effects. I do like about the pets. And I do like about the, the primal drop. When you get one primal little drop. A random primal item drops as well. That is pretty nice. Let's take a look at uh, how the seals and potions uh, work. Here we go. How the seals and potion works. As you can see after unlocking the first seal. The order in which you unlock additional seals 
and obtain their powers is entirely up to you and which powers align with your character's build the most. Once a seal or legendary potion power is unlocked, you'll immediately receive that seal or potion's power and will have the ability to unlock, to unlock connected seals or potions once you have the required materials. Unlock powers apply to all your characters and last for the entirety of Season 28. That is pretty neat. Let's go down here a little bit. Regardless of the order in which you unlock seals and potions, the cost will increase as shown below. So the first one, A, 10 reasonable parts. That won't be too bad. And as you go, of course, it's going to get more material. Number seven, Reaper's Wrap, Wraps. I know I've seen... Uh, the leg in here where yeah the staff of hurting number 25 so you definitely got to find that you're gonna have to get the plans to get that so it won't be too bad it'll be a lot of farming but with uh, the cube and a recipe now that's really gonna help and a blacksmith where you can get ashes for the altar of rites and they did add a recipe for the primals in the cube which is really nice let's take a look at this here it is we have also added a primal item recipe let's take a look at it. let me read it here we have also added a primal item recipe to Kanai's cube and it will cost 100 primordial ashes and any non-crafted legendary item. This is actually going to be pretty neat to help get the altar done because you got to have these ashes for the altar and the blacksmith you can sell primal to uh, him extra primals old junk primals you don't want and you get 55 ashes I believe but this is actually going to be a lot of fun in season 28 I definitely wanted to come in and share it a little bit and take a look at the altar of rights if you enjoyed the information give me a thumbs up this is Raven this is Raven out